So the El Paso that I knew being born and raised here was a safe and diverse community that prided itself on hard work and prided itself on being a tolerant and diverse city. That's what we've always known. What we understand here is that the border is a blessing. You know, the, the thing about it all is that we value the border here, that border crossing defines us. You know, and we have family that crosses every single day. We have music that crosses, economy that crosses, culture that crosses, food that crosses. And so when you talk about this community of celebrating a wall, that's not who we are. But I hope to be able to spend a little bit of time with him to make sure he has some semblance of understanding of how it really is here. He, he was parroting what our Attorney General said related to crime in El Paso before the fence went up. and. And the fact that we are, the, you know, the ending of his remarks or the end of his remarks about us being one of the safest cities in the nation were correct. But we didn't have a spike before the fence. We've been one of the safest cities in the nation for many years. I think we were number two or number three before the fence went up and, and just progressed into being number one, according to the Uniform Crime Statistics, as reported to the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, it was bad information. El Paso is the safest city in the United States. We have been one of the safest cities for many years. The fence is a part of our uh, border control, border security, and uh, on our internal security. But uh, our uh, uh, public safety through our police department is responsible for the majority of, of why we are considered one of the safest cities. Yeah.